Congratulations on your Lynx 1000 purchase. The Lynx 1000 is a Red Dot Award winner, selected for its exceptional functionality, innovative design, and quality. It's recognized as one of the most outstanding product designs of the year. The Lynx 1000 is a unique, space-saving, lateral door system designed to move large, heavy doors with minimal effort in tight spaces. It's available in a white or matte black finish to fit in any environment seamlessly. Let's begin the easy installation process. Before we begin our installation, let's make sure your door matches these specifications. The Lynx 1000 is intended for interior residential use. It is designed for overlaid door panel installation using wood, MDF, or other material solid core door. The hardware supports a maximum door weight of 198 pounds and a maximum door height of 117 and 5 16 inches, roughly 9 and 3 quarters feet tall. For inset installations, hollow core or sheet metal doors, installation onto a metal frame or other non-standard installations, please refer to the contact information at the end of the video to reach our technical support for assistance. The cabinet depth should be 9 and quarter inches minimum. If you have wall moldings, you will have to ensure that the door has enough clearance to open and not hit them. Before you begin, please ensure that your door panel is not warped and that the framing around your door is strong enough to support it. To install the Lynx 1000, you will need the following components, which are included with the Lynx 1000. Two arms, arm A and arm B four cover mounting plates for the door side, and four cover mounting plates for the hinge side, one 2-meter connecting bar, 16 truss head tapping screws, and the opening damper, which includes one damper holder, one stopper A, and one stopper B, pan head screws, two cap nuts, and binding head tapping screws. The installation should take about one to two hours, we recommend that two people install the door in order to reduce the risk of injury and damage to the door. You will also need the following tools to install your Lynx 1000. A number 2 screwdriver, a number 3 screwdriver, a 4mm hex wrench, a drill, a 1 8 inch drill bit, a tape measure, a pencil, and masking tape to mark your measurements and the installation instructions. We recommend making measurements in millimeters for the best accuracy. We will now begin referring to your installation instructions included with the Lynx 1000. First, we will measure the door for handle placement using the chart on page 2 of the installation instructions. For the best operation of the Lynx 1000, when installed, the placement of the handle must be within the area specified in Table 1. This is assuming a 40 millimeter or 1 and 9 16 inch thick doors being used. For the following measurements, we will need to make minor adjustments for the weight of the door as well as clearance above the floor for thick carpeting, etc. Referring to the adjustment factor A table, you will need to shift your door measurements to make up for the weight of the door. Making measurements from the bottom of the door, subtract the noted amount for your door weight. You will be making measurements to the back side of the door, which will face the inside of the cabinet when installed. Paper templates are included to assist you with the spacing. Once your measurements are made, make pilot holes for the screws. On the back side of the door where you've drilled your pilot holes, we will screw in just the top two screws for each hinge. Using the number three screwdriver, screw in the one inch truss head tapping screws. Insert screw partially, leaving a five millimeter gap between the screw head and the door surface. This will allow the door to rest on the arm mounting plate later during installation. Now using this diagram to assist in measuring your cabinet frame, you will be making measurements to install the hinges into the cabinet. 
paper templates are included to assist you with spacing. Using this diagram, you will be making measurements to install the opening damper onto the cabinet frame. Measure from the lower rear screw of the top mounting plate. Once your measurements are made, make pilot holes for the screws. We will screw in just the bottom two screws for each hinge. This will allow the hinge arm mounting plate to slide in over the screw heads. Using the number three screwdriver, screw in the one inch truss head tapping screws. Insert screw partially, leaving a five millimeter gap between the screw head and the frame surface. Now you can install the damper holder in place using the 3.5 by 15 millimeter binding head tapping screws with the screwdriver. The cartridge with the damper will be facing the front of the cabinet. The holes are slotted to adjust holder direction and position. This helps us later when we insert the connecting bar. Do not make any adjustments prior to installation. Do not loosen or tighten any screws at this point. Gently place the arm mounting plate over the screws on the cabinet frame. Using a two inch block to support the hinge arm, install the top screws on both sides of the arm mounting plate. Tighten all upper screws. Place the connecting bar into the socket of the arm, aligning the connecting bar channel to the socket on the arm. Use the four millimeter hex wrench to tighten the bar in place. Fasten the hex screw by hand not to exceed 80 inch-pounds of torque. This is to prevent a gap from opening between the door and the door frame. We recommend two people to gently mount the upper arm over the two screws and place the connecting bar into the socket of the arm. Once the upper arm has been set in place, tighten the screws for the upper arm mounting plate. You will have to rotate the arms forward to tighten the rear screws. Install the two sides of the opening damper stopper onto the connecting bar. Stopper A fits into the groove of the connecting bar. Rotate the hinge to screw both sides into place. We recommend that two people install the door in order to reduce the risk of injury and damage to the door. Before installing the door onto hinges, the door should already have the handle installed and the door screws that hold the inside hinges should already be in place. Again, the screw heads should be five millimeters away from the surface of the door. Placing blocks or padding under the door may help to better handle the door when lowering the door onto the arm mounting plates. Once the door has been set in place, tighten the lower screws for both the lower and upper arm mounting plates. We will now review how to make adjustments on the Lynx 1000. This hardware allows for horizontal, vertical, parallel fit, and depth adjustment. Adjustments are to be made by hand only. Do not use a power screwdriver as you may damage the hardware. Also, do not over rotate the adjustment screws. Doing so may cause them to break. Follow these door and hinge adjustments instructions carefully. Making adjustments without first loosening the fixing screws may damage the hardware. To adjust the door horizontally, plus or minus seven millimeters, first loosen the fixing screws with a number two screwdriver with only one half turn. Then adjust the horizontal adjustment screw on the mounting plate. Adjust both top and bottom arms similarly to move the door left or right. Lastly, re-tighten the fixing screws. To adjust the door vertically, plus or minus seven millimeters, first loosen the fixing screws with a number two screwdriver with only a one half turn. Adjust the vertical adjustment hex bolt in between the two screws on the mounting plate. Adjust both arms similarly to keep the load even on both arms. Lastly, re-tighten the fixing screws. To adjust the angle of the door, plus or minus three degrees, loosen the adjustment screws with a number two screwdriver with only a three quarter turn. Make your adjustment, then re-tighten the screws. To adjust the door depth of door positioning, plus or minus five millimeters, locate the arm mounting plate 
on the cabinet frame. Loosen the fixing screws with a number two screwdriver with only a one half turn. Adjust the depth of the door position by screwing the depth adjusting screw with a number three screwdriver. Make your adjustment, then retighten the screws. Once installed, test the door opening and closing speed. If the door closes too slowly, open the door to access and remove the damper holder. Remove the plungers, reinsert the damper holder until you reach the desired speed. If the door is too light, you can decrease the damper force to achieve desired closing speed by removing additional plungers. Ensure that the dampers are inserted with the small pegs facing towards the damper holder. To adjust the door opening speed, first open the door to access and remove the damper holder. Remove the plunger and reinsert the damper holder until you reach the desired speed. Now align, slide, and snap the mounting plate covers into place on both the cabinet frame and door mounting plates. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your Lynx 1000.